Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we are going to look at SMF file for software and operating system configuration. Configuration files are important to modern computing and they can be found in various locations of your system. Every computer application environment or system requires certain degree of configuration. In this video, we will be looking at config files, which SML can also be used for. There are thousands of configuration files on your computer, including those used by your operating system and the various software on your computer. So, what is a config file? A config file is also known as configuration file. In computing, it is used to configure the parameters and primary settings of several computer software, operating systems, and server instructions or processes. Some software only read their configuration files during startup, while some software check the configuration for changes periodically. Usually, the config file format is used for software applications, operating system settings, and server instructions or processes. A programmer can write code to instruct a software to read configuration files over and over after a certain period of time and apply the changes to the current process. There are no set rules or strong conventions for config files. However, a config file may take the file extension .ini, which stands for initialization, .config, .conf, dot local dot cfg dot sml dot json dot yaml dot oml dot cnf dot cf here is an example of a possible config file that is config dot sml a lot of developers or people identify a config file by its name rather than the east file extension since the configuration files are not created by following particular rules standards or conventions these files can be created by using different formats so a config file might be based on sml json or any other format in this tutorial we will be looking at config files based on SML formats. SML can be used for simple configurations as well as complex configurations of software or operating systems. It is important to mention here that as there are several popular formats for configuration files, each has its own strengths and weaknesses. In computer science and computer programming, a configuration file defines the parameters, options, settings, and preferences applied to a piece of software, infrastructure devices, and servers. There are several different file formats for configuration files. There are also many different configuration languages, and each has its advantages and disadvantages now let's look at some config files but before we do that it is important to know that when you start learning and writing sml using notepad is a good option the reason i say that is it helps you to learn how to write proper sml as a simple mistake can render your SML document invalid. You can also use Notepad to open SML files easily. In your career as a software developer, a computer programmer, 
or a data analyst, writing a configuration file may not be a part of your role straight away. However, editing a system or software config file may be something that you have to do at some point. So now let's look at the content of SML config files. The config.sml file consists of a series of SML elements. These elements may include child elements. Those child elements may have children elements as well. We will see some examples later on in this tutorial. It is very common for each element to have one or more configurable attributes in an SML config file. Now, let's look at some rules for editing config.sml file. If you are going to edit the config.sml file manually, there are some issues you would need to consider first. Always save your config.sml file before editing it. This can also depend on the size and complexity of the config.sml file. Do not edit the config.sml file for a domain when a domain is active. If you edit a configuration file manually while the domain is active, the system will likely overwrite any changes you make. The changes may be ignored at runtime. Do not change element names or name attributes of a child element. This can affect the system negatively. It is important to know that no validation or value checking happens during or after you edit the config.sml file. So when you restart or reboot the system, any invalid SML or attribute value is detected and the system may fail to run or produce expected result. So if you do not want to see unexpected result from your system before you edit your config file, make a backup copy of it and edit it properly by following the right SML convention. Now let's look at some examples of SML configuration files. This is a possible SML configuration file. Here, the root level element is configuration. It starts with configuration and it ends with slash configuration. Runtime opens here and it closes here. Generate publisher evidence. Enabled equals false. So generate publisher evidence is a self-closing element here. And it has an attribute enabled, which is set to a value false. Startup is another element. This is the opening tag and this is the closing tag for the startup element. The startup element has a child element supported runtime and supported runtime element has an attribute version and this is the value for the version attribute. So if you were to edit this SML configuration file, you would need to do it properly. Now, let's look at another example of a configuration file on my system. Normally, you would be directed to the right location of a config file on your system or for an application on your system. This could be in the documentation or in the readme file for the application or software. I have Jenkins installed on my computer and this is the location, the root part for the config.sml file. Now I am going to open it with Notepad. Any test editor can be used to open it, but Notepad or test edit would be on your system by default. So I will open this one now with Notepad, right click, 
open with notepad great this is the config.sml file and this is how it looks here it is declared as sml version 1.1 encoding utf8 so there are several elements in it and some of the elements have got attributes as well the elements open correctly and they close correctly they follow the standard sml file creation process that is it follows the right method of creating an sml file you have your elements open and you close them correctly for example this one here is mode and it's set to normal and it closes version this is the opening element tag and this is the closing element tag let's scroll down to the bottom it is not too long and not too complex but sometimes you may get a longer config file and a more complex config file for a particular application on your system so to edit it you can make the right change to whatever you want to change it to and save it like i said earlier be very careful when you are editing your config file make sure you know what you are doing because you cannot really validate it or check to see whether you have done things correctly or not but at runtime or reboot this might become a problem if it was not edited correctly so in this tutorial we have looked at sml as a language for writing a config file Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly subscribe and remember to turn on the notification bell so that each time I post a new video, YouTube will notify you. See you in my next video. Bye for now.